Does Britain care about its pensioners? I can only come to the conclusion that it doesn't. At least its leaders don't. Taking just the coronavirus pandemic into account, COVID patients were sent to live in care homes in the early stages. This led to the deaths of thousands of elderly people. It was always going to. As the virus pandemic was at its peak, the Parliamentary and Health Service Ombudsman released research claiming that the NHS was denying essential treatment to huge numbers of pensioners. The research stated that 175,000 people had been referred for continuing care, but 36% of them were denied this as the patient wasn't ill enough. So much for universal health care. Furthermore, the Ombudsman claimed thousands had been wrongly denied treatment, most of them elderly. It's a shambles. But the latest example of a complete lack of care for old people in Britain has just come from the Chancellor of the Exchequer, Rishi Sunak. He announced that the pensions triple lock is to be suspended. The triple lock was a Conservative manifesto pledge which guaranteed that every year pensions would rise in line with inflation, earnings growth or 2.5%, whichever was the highest. Apparently, to continue, the government would need to increase pension spending by £4 billion. They're not willing to do that, sadly, and Britain's pensioners will be even poorer. Meanwhile, we will take in tens of thousands of refugees and a growing number of illegal immigrants, who will all be housed at the taxpayers' expense. Oh, and we'll also send billions abroad to line the pockets of warlords or fund space programmes for countries well able to afford to do so themselves. So let's consider this for a moment. People work, pay taxes, raise families. They're the backbone of the country. Then when they get to their later years, when they need help and medical treatment, when they become less able to look after themselves, we abandon them? This is spectacularly immoral. It's not a society I want to live in. It's not a Britain I recognise either. It's downright cruel. Politicians enable this. They cause it. They couldn't care less about the people of this country. That is clearer and clearer by the day. I sincerely hope that the people of Britain realise that the big political parties have turned their backs on them. This is unbelievable. I'm asking you, if you care about children, the elderly, basic decency, look away from the Tories and Labour and rethink. Check www.forbritain.uk and see what we have to offer. We know trust in politics is at an all-time low, but unless we take a leap of faith and trust for Britain, will continue to spiral into immorality and outright decline as a nation. Let's give someone else a chance. The big parties are no longer worthy of our support. Thank you for watching. If you would like to stay updated with all of our latest videos, please like the video below and subscribe to our channel. As you probably know, For Britain is shadow banned on most social media. So it's really important to like and share our videos in order to get our message out. Thanks again for helping us to fight back. Thanks again for helping us to bring back Britain.